I Red, I see you cut your thumb there. What happened? Yeah, uh, so I was making dinner, and I was reading the recipe, and I saw it called for a little grated ginger. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Worth the Dram. I'm Grim. And I'm Red. Uh, thanks for tuning in. <laughs> <laughs> this is your home for whiskey reviews, opinionated opinions, and barley funny jokes. Barley funny. <laughs> yeah. That's not neat. Malted barley? <laughs> Unmalted barley. We gotta, Unmalted barley. We gotta avoid the tax. Yes. Yes. Uh, so today, uh, we are looking at Sexton Irish Whiskey. The Sexton. The oh. Sexton. I am sorry. I keep doing that. The Sexton uh, <laughs> Irish Whiskey. Uh, single malt whiskey, 100% Irish malted barley. Um, distilled in um, copper pots. Um, came over to the U.S. in 2018? 2018. 2018. 2018. Um, and it's aged in uh, ex-Spanish uh, sherry casks. Ola Rosa? Ola Rosa. Ola Rosa. I wasn't going to try and pronounce it. Again, we don't know the pronunciation, but here's a handy little trick. You guys can tell us. <laughs> so, I'm going to interrupt you for a second. Do it. You know, 10, 15 years ago, if you thought Irish whiskey, it would just be Jameson. Yeah. Like, every, everyone. Or Bushmills. Or, yeah, Bushmills. But, like, I, so, personally, I'd never heard of Bushmills until we started doing this. Over the past, like, 10 years, we're in the middle of this, like, great whiskey renaissance. Yeah. It's exploding in popularity. And I love the fact that we're getting these new whiskeys here in the States that we never had access to before. Yeah. Well, um, it's, it's awesome. And, you know, we've mentioned before that sometimes, like, the shape of the bottle catches our eye. This is one of them, and I'm super excited to get into this one. Oh, yeah. Speaking of the bottle catching your eye, um, Sexton is an old-timey term for, uh, like, a church warden that takes care of the graveyard. Yeah, like an officer of the church. So that w that's another antiquated word that um, I had a little trouble finding the definition of because I, I was dead sure that I was looking for sextant, which is <laughs> an old navigational tool that sailors used to use. You know, here's an image right here. And it, and it, uh, nope, I put it there instead, sorry. It shows you the direction of where the whiskey is. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so it took me a little while to figure out what the actual definition of this was, but, you know, we're fairly certain that due to the skulls in the bottle um, and just the general aesthetic, um, that that's likely um, what they're, like, the, the image that they're trying yeah. to. Yeah. Um, and I was going to say, that's what, that's what always caught, not only the shape of the bottle, it caught my eye, but the, the skulls and the, the skull and the top hat yeah. uh, in there. No, that's I mean, it's a, it's a beautiful cool. bottle. And it, it, like I said, like, it caught my attention. Yeah. Which, if you're ready, I'm ready. Oh, I'm, I'm ready. Yeah, let's do it. I'm ready. Where's our... The whiskey, I think, is on your side. I found it. Where's the jigger? Uh, <laughs> it's down here. No, it's right here. Ah. Mm -hmm. We are prepared. Um, infinity pours generally make it into the cut. Yeah. Uh, we, <laughs> you know, it's funny because like, so we had a couple oh, comments ooh. on. I like that. Right, I yeah. thought it was going to be a screw top. Oh, really? Yeah. But the way that was, I'm going to do that again. It was good. I like it. So yeah, we got a couple comments on the. Weller's video that we might have missed the in, the uh, infinity pour, but I went back. I reviewed the footage. Footage. I reviewed, <laughs> <Feudage. laughs> I reviewed the footage right at like four twelve or four thirteen. I did actually get it it's in. in there. Yeah, yeah, I got it in. That's what she said. <laughs> uh, so, a little bit about the sexton. So this was uh, crafted by Alex Thomas which is actually really exciting because she is one of the few female master blenders in the industry. We couldn't pin down the distillery for the Sexton. It's likely distilled at the Bushmills distillery. Um, on the bottle, it's stated that it's... <laughs> on the bottle, it's stated that it's produced in Antrim County in Northern Ireland. And as far as we know, the Bushmills distillery is the only distillery operating up there. Yeah, we couldn't find any other yep. Northern Ireland just Northern Ireland distillery. Yeah, doing uh, Irish whiskey up there. Specifically in Antrim County. Specifically, yeah, yeah. that county. Um, so I've also heard that this is actually really, really similar to the Bushmills that we tried. Yeah, maybe one of their maybe one of their higher models or higher blends. The Red Bush. 
the red bush. <laughs> there is a red bush. Listeners. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay. I'm I just want to be on the same page with that one. <laughs> yeah, I know that you're gonna bring the red bush <laughs> after dark. After dark. <laughs> So anyway, so I've heard this is really, really similar to Bushmills blends, yeah. But with, um, you know, a, a much stronger sherry influence yeah. due to being aged in those Ola Rosa sherry barrels. Yeah. Um, it is 100% Irish malted barley, um, and then it, it's uh, distilled in traditional Irish copper stills as well. Oh yeah. It almost smells like a grape juice. Yeah. Like Welch's white grape I can, juice. I was going to say, uh, almost like a real fruity white wine to me. Which, yeah. I, it's a sherry, so yep. it, it makes sense. Um, man, and the color is nice, too. It's uh, actually a little bit darker than I was expecting. Yep, it sure um, is. Like an apple juice, but, actually. Yeah, apple juice color. Like, this, everything about it is just screaming juice to me right yeah. now. It smells really smooth. It's really, really light. Fruity. Um, yeah. But it's not, you know, it's not Un real sharp on the nose. I was going to say unsweetened juice. Yeah, but I'm not getting a whole lot of sweetness no. on the nose. I don't think. Oh, you know what? Maybe now that I'm looking for it. Maybe. I mean, I got that up front. It's yeah. not. It's not really, really strong. It's just. It's you know. It's like a pleasing sweetness. Yeah. Yeah. No, not like the Weller's Weller's uh, candy. That was very, very sweet. That was very sweet. Super sweet. And I've gotten I've gotten a few comments. People like, hey, I'm sad. Like, I'm sorry <laughs> that you didn't like. I was like, it's not that I didn't like it. Yeah. I didn't like it as much as I wanted to. Yeah. And that's that's what I you know, I I really built it up in my head. Yeah, and then, well there's so much effort to go into. Yeah. But we're we're talking about sexing today. The we are. Yep. today. <laughs> I got us on another tangent. You sure did. <laughs> um well I'm gonna I'm gonna get right get right into it. I'm I'm ready. Yeah. You can really taste that sherry influence. Hi, that's nice. That's almost a wine. That is a wine. Yeah, that's nice. Really, really uh, nice. And then traditional Irish triple distillation. Um, we talked about it all the way back, episode one. That uh, almost that cooling. Yep. We well, know why nice. Irish whiskeys are triple distilled, right? Because three times is better than. To be sure. To be sure. To be sure. <laughs> <laughs> so what? Uh, uh, Typical Irish responses, to be sure, is really not that funny. That's a terrible joke. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure we have given that disclaimer before. We, that's true. With terrible jokes. <laughs> um, no, but that's Man. really, I guess, yeah. again, smooth is subjective, but that's, it's smooth. It's very, very smooth. This might be, this might be one of the smoothest whiskeys that we've tried yet. I'd say everything up to this point, except for the Kalila, has had like a, an appreciable bite. Yeah, just a bite to it. Yeah, just a bite. This is, it's barely, it's it's barely a thumbtack. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, and that sherry influence is definitely pronounced uh, on the taste. Um, I think you nailed it when you said grape juice. Um, I think you nailed it with unsweetened, unsweetened grape juice, unsweetened yeah. grape juice. That is very very nice. Yeah, I really enjoy that. Enjoy it. I enjoy it more than I thought I would, if that makes sense. Man, I, I don't want to stop drinking this. No, it's really good. Um, man, I, I definitely get the sherry. Um, grape, like you said, grape flavor. That's probably coming from the barrels. Um, typically, when I'm drinking an Irish whiskey, I'm also looking for um, a lot more of that almost grain or... Mm -hmm. um, which isn't, I don't feel buttery, like that's... Buttery, shortbreadness, that sort of thing. I don't feel like that's really pronounced um, here. It's not at all. I, I think it's... And it may be because it's 100% malted barley. I don't, I'm not sure. Um, you know, so... I'm going to go off on another tangent. All right. Most Irish whiskeys are uh, a mix of malted and unmalted barley. Because the English decided to tax malted barley. And the Irish, being the tax evaders that they are... Said, okay, we're going to have a certain amount of, uh, I can say that, obviously, a uh, certain amount of... Uh, there are other nationalities uh, as red as you are. I'm very sweaty right now. <laughs> <laughs> it is. So, uh, today, it's early July. 
in Arizona. We just had a storm roll through. It was a really, really nice afternoon, and now it is very humid. Muggy as shit. Yeah. Like it's, yeah, it's really, really humid. It's very humid. What I was trying to say is to get around the English barley tax, Irish distillers started using a mix of malted and unmalted barley in their uh, distillations. Yep. Uh, I mean, and so avoiding English tax is something that we as Americans can certainly appreciate. Uh, yeah, that's what I was <laughs> trying to get at. I just... Oh, I'm sorry. That, but, but no, no, I didn't no, mean to yank, yank the rug out from under. I, I just, I couldn't get there in my mind. I Gotcha. It's hard to put into words how much I like this, and that's a problem because that's what this channel is for. <laughs> we're, we're supposed to be describing. <laughs> it's a really good whiskey. Yeah. It, it's a really good wine. <laughs> <laughs> what is wine? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> we still haven't thought of, still thought of an answer for that question. Something yet. about grapes. Yep. Uh, alcoholic grape juice. Pretty much, yeah. Yep. It's dirty old foot stomp. Spicy grape juice. <laughs> Oh, no. Just trying to get into your <laughs> shoes for a little bit. Ah. Shoes on the other foot now. I don't know what to do. <laughs> so, <laughs> how the turn tables. <laughs> early bird, <laughs> early worm gets the worm. <laughs> so, weird cut. <laughs> uh, so, it's been... 20 minutes? It's been about 20 minutes. Yeah, it's been, been a while. been sitting for a little while. Uh, we had to cool off. Yeah, it is. It's, again, July, Arizona, thunderstorm. Monsoon season. God, it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I still get that sherry right off the bat. I'm getting... It's so much more... It's... it's Now it's, it's, it's like an apple juice. Yeah. It's so much... It's more... It's, I don't want to say juicier, but it's... <laughs> It's it much more akin to a juice. It smells pretty juicy. I think I know what you were going for. Yeah. Yeah, I just get real hard. So I get I get more sherry uh, in addition to the juiciness. Yeah. Um, so we were by the tasting notes. There should be peach or apricot. I don't get, I don't think I get that. Uh, maybe some raisin, and maybe that's the grape coming through. Yeah, that's, um, that's probably it. Um, but yeah, I definitely get, I mean, the sherry for me is still first, first coming out of the nose. Man, you're, oh, I'm going to catch up to you. So that's a little spicier after sitting. Yeah. That was probably the first thing I got. But... So another That's thing, still smooth though. Another thing from the tasting notes that I didn't get with the first glass, I'm getting now on the back end is honeycomb. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so maybe not honeycomb specifically, but it, there's definitely a honey sweetness to it. It's not quite waxy. You know, I'm not 100 percent sure what honeycomb is supposed to taste like besides the cereal. Like, is the cereal <laughs> supposed to taste like actual honeycomb? No, the cereal tastes like. Grains and cereal and with like a little bit of honey. With some honey in it? Yeah. Because I don't get honeycomb cereal in this. So I had a neighbor when I was a kid. Um, so I lived in uh, Massachusetts, Dead End Street, and there was this lady up the street that had beehives, and we, had, we used to get fresh honeycomb from her. Yeah. Yep. Um, those, like, it's, there's nothing like fresh honeycomb. I'm not getting the honeycomb in the glass, yeah. but there is a there is a honey sweetness. Honeyed. Honeyed. Maybe. Honeyed sweetness? Yeah. I can see that, because there's a little bit of sweetness, just like you said on the tail end, yeah. that I can't put my finger on. Uh, <laughs> you just give <laughs> <laughs> My wife has pointed out how often Don does this. Like, this is his, this is his thinking tool. It is. This is, this is mine. Yeah? Like, when I'm, when I'm stuck on something, yeah. This is mine. That's yours, yeah. So uh, my wife points out, like every we, we review these videos before we put them up yeah. on YouTube, and I'm pretty sure my wife has taken a like a running tally of how many times <laughs> she's seen me do that. Multiple times an episode. Yeah, it's all throughout. Um, like if you can't see your hand down here. No. <laughs> Dealing with whatever. <laughs> we have established that you can't see us from the waist down. So a little bit. Of, Sweetness, I just can't put my finger on. <laughs> we made 
quite a few comments before that this does taste like a wine. Um, and you know, my wife and uh, Red's wife are they they're this is the wine only, drinkers. This is the only one that they have not made a face at. They made little faces, little faces, but not like a. But yeah, like so. This is this would not be their first drink of the night. And we should say they're not whiskey drinkers. No, unless it's mixed in something. And in the other room. Yes, <laughs> she, she doesn't want anything <laughs> to do with it. Fun fact. Ooh, fun fact. Fun fact. So uh, copper stills are used in the distillation of this, um, and it's it's interesting because as you're distilling alcohol, there's espers and sulfur and things that are generated. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition to conducting heat really well, copper uh, is a chemical reaction where it binds with those sulfur and becomes copper sulfate. And the copper sulfate go to the bottom of the still. And the longer that the whiskey is sitting in that still, the lighter in color it ends up being. Hmm. Um, so I thought it was pretty cool because copper pot stills are kind of an Irish thing. Um, but cool little fun fact for you there. I like that. A little chemistry. Yeah. I mean, it, I like getting into the science side of this. Yeah. Um, you know, it's not, it doesn't, it's, it's not just, a, it's without information, it's, we're just drinking in a garage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, this, if, if this is nothing, if not educational. Yeah. I mean, yeah. well, if anybody is, is sticking through the episodes long enough to actually learn something. Well, yeah. Except uh, from, accepting our mothers. I think they watch from start to finish. Start to finish. Multiple times. Yeah. Multiple times. Um, I'm running out here. Mm. That is good to the last drop. It really is. Which is another trademark. Um, so say we all. I think we're gonna we're gonna mix up the format a little bit. I think so. Some, um, some feedback. We, yep. Yeah, yeah. Actually, this is your this is your feedback that you received. Feedback, so if yeah. you would like to. So uh, some some feedback um, from our viewers, which we we appreciate. We'll, we try to incorporate as best we can. Uh, except when it comes to the depth of the pores, I think we're gonna keep those pretty, pretty standard. I think we did okay tonight. We did we did better to, tonight than we normally do. Yeah. Um, but so, some feedback is you know maybe we just go with impressions. You know. Yeah. Um, We've said I think in every episode so far that we are not experts. None. And we really have no business putting a rating on like putting yeah, a number on these because number. like. You know what? There's a whiskey for everybody, and everybody should have a whiskey. Putting a number on that, though, could turn a lot of people off to it, and that's not something that we want to do. Yeah, no, we definitely want to just keep turning people on. <laughs> After dark. After dark. <laughs> um, so impressions, I think, is what we're, we're going to call this. Impressions? Yeah. Yeah. Impressions or of a whiskey? Final thoughts. Final thoughts? Yeah, instead of like a final score, we're just going to do... I'll still probably have like a rating section Yeah. if people are following the chapters that we started using, but like yeah. instead of a final score, no more hard numbers, just yeah. final thoughts. Our recommendations. Our, yeah. our opinions, because that's really what this is, and our opinions shouldn't be labeled on a scale of 1 to 10. Yeah. I'm good with that. Yeah. So we'll try it for a couple episodes. We can still log, cause I'm gonna, I, I still like doing the wooden banner. I don't know what, what we would do there. I'll figure it out. Yeah. Because I like going... Bah, 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 bah. Yeah. So maybe... Uh, yeah, nine times. You know, uh, like recommended pairings, what we think uh, the occasion for this, like yeah. how we think we could mix. Yeah. Or what we think you should mix this yeah. with. Speaking of mixing, nothing. No, that was, that was yeah. great straight. Um, I was expecting a little bit more Bushmills or Jameson out of there i didn't it does not taste like an irish whiskey no yeah and i think that's the the strong sherry there's a lot of other irish whiskeys out there and they're started in bourbon barrels and finished in sherry barrels this mm -hmm. is a hundred percent sherry barreled yep yeah mixing i'd say no it would probably mix well it would probably i mean in you know probably with like a little bit of little tonic or soda water that's what i was gonna say nothing yep. nothing that's really gonna alter the flavor too much yep it would probably um, re be really good on the rocks L yeah. a little watered down for anyone that doesn't really like the like the upfront punch of a whiskey yeah this would be great to keep stocked yeah no just I agree. For the, like it's it's a great sipping whiskey yeah um was not really expecting what we got out of the bottle no. uh, which is fantastic yeah uh, i'm i'm very excited about that um but yeah excellent sipping whiskey i think if you're a fan of um, if you're a fan of white wines, I think this might be 
this would be a Def- great definitely something to go a great uh, transition into whiskey yeah go take a look at um definitely would mix it and then i mean i'm a fan of irish whiskey 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 whis- i'm a fan of irish whiskey whiskers whiskers <laughs> um i i enjoy it very much not a lot not a ton of sweetness in it no um it smells like a wine yeah and I didn't realize it at the time until Red put words to it that before tasting, we expected it to be dry like a wine. Yeah. Or actually, it was the Belvini Doublewood. Yeah. The Doublewood is a very, very dry scotch, and we were kind of expecting something similar out of this, but it's not dry. Like, it's actually, it's refreshing. It's yeah, it's, it's refreshing for a whiskey. Yeah. Um, no, I'm, I like it. Um, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I think I'm going to have to go out and buy a bottle for my bar. Yeah. My bar cat. Your bar cat? It's gonna have to be a staple in my back hat. That's a staple. So, I mean, in a and I'm I'm gonna go back to the price point one more time because I mean a bottle of Jameson's what twenty ish, twenty to twenty five. So a little bit extra, and I would reach for this. Yep. If I was in the mood for a something different, definitely something different. I wouldn't yeah. I wouldn't necessarily say reach for it if you're in the mood for an Irish whiskey. Yeah. No. Because it's. It it I don't know, transcends is too hard of a it's too yeah. that's too strong <laughs> of a word but it's definitely more more than an, than just a traditional Irish whiskey. Yeah. Um, but yeah, very good. Thank you for picking that up. No, you're very welcome. Thank you for having some with me. Yeah, it's, it's thanks. Delicious. Thank our wives or thank you to our wives. Yes. For trying some because they don't do that very often. No. We yeah. uh we turn them on with the wine comments after. Dark? Yeah, this is where you say after dark. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so uh, here, whatever we figure out what the final thoughts will be. There you go. That's that's uh, our new format. Let us know what you think. Um, yeah, for, definitely like the feedback. Yeah, because you know if this works, this feels better. Personally, this feels better for me. Yeah. Because like trying to put a number on it, like. You guys don't see the 45 minutes worth of footage where we're sitting here trying to figure out what we want to rate it. <laughs> this feels a lot more natural. Yeah. But if people want a number, we can give them a number. Yeah. No, for sure. Um, yeah. Let us know what you guys think. Comment down below. Yeah. Uh, and then again, recommendations. And Q&A. Please, and if Q&A. you have questions. Our wives seem to think that we should specify questions about whiskey, but hey, ask us whatever you want. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're, we're going to screen the questions, so... We sure are. <laughs> you can send us whatever you want, yeah. question-wise. You can send us whatever questions you want. Yeah, please direct all non-question-related content to Red's inbox. Please. No What's that? No nudies. Uh, my wife says no nudes. At least, you know, put some effort into it. At least one. <laughs> At least one effort. <laughs> <laughs> all right so if you haven't already please like us here on youtube subscribe check us out on facebook instagram we have a blog we do have we, a blog yeah we post link, re- link down below yeah link down below we post recipes and recaps of the episodes yeah um polls every now and then polls yep and we ask questions too we do <laughs> <laughs> not sure what questions we ask yet besides what was no like a poll oh like a poll <laughs> Take us away, Red. Remember, however you like to drink your whiskey, that's the right way. You be my temple, baby.